Let's take a look at a little blending trick in the print layout in QGIS. I've got a satellite layer here and I also have a terrain layer blended with it. So if I switch back to the main map canvas, we can see that. So I have a Bing satellite layer and I have some terrain data here and I've got it displayed as a hill shade. I've exaggerated the Z or Z factor and I've colorized it with a kind of orangey glow and I've made it a little bit brighter. And the blending mode is a multiply. Let me switch back to the print layout. And in the print layout, what I've done, all I've done is simply put a text box over the whole of the print layout. And this text box has a white background and the text itself is, I can scroll down to get the text. The text itself is color mid sort of mid gray. So it's 80, 80, 80 RGB HTML color code 50, 50, 50. So it's kind of dark gray. Okay, so let's look at changing blending modes. And we do that in the rendering section. So if I change it to lighten, we can see some of the satellite imagery through it. If I change it to screen, we can see the city imagery through it. And I'll just change it to dodge. And I'll do all the different methods so you can see what they do. Addition, darken so it disappears, multiply, let us go black, burn, overlay. Overlay, kind of striking effect, quite interesting. A bit much probably soft light be okay hard light difference a bit wild but quite interesting subtract and I'm going to put it back to overlay and we can see what that looks like if I could put it back to dodge let me put it back to screen and then last thing I will do is if I click on the background and I'll make it slightly transparent there we go so if I make that slightly transparent, we can see through the letters. And that's because I'm using a blend mode. So some interesting things there that you can try. If I take this away, we can see, we just see the satellite view. So sometimes if you overlay a text box that fills up the whole page and it's got a white background and dark text, you can then go around uh, and experiment in the rendering section. And at the moment, I've changed the background to slightly opaque. Let me take it back to full white. And let's go to rendering. At the moment, I've got it on screen, but let's change it to dodge and go back to lighten. So you can see what these things do. It's, it can be quite interesting and quite useful.